Hi, welcome to the channel. Today, September the 15th, uh, Sony released the firmware update so you can add M.2 SSD storage to your PlayStation 5. And this is the one I'm going to be using right here. I'm going to do the full install and we're going to do speed test and we're going to do a uh, game install and see how fast it is. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to start by lifting up on this far left corner and sliding it to the right ever so slightly see the cover comes off all right and the ssd goes right here in this bay okay and once you have the cover off the side that has the disk drive on it if you have the disk drive model you're going to take your screwdriver and take out this screw on this side and if you look this is the one that has the the PlayStation symbols on it, just like the PlayStation 4 did. Okay, we're gonna take this cover off. Right here, just raise it up and take it out of the way. And if you look right here, right here, there is a screw and a standoff. You take that screw out and move it over here to this, right here, the 80 millimeter spot for my 80 millimeter SSD. Go ahead and take that out so I can get it to unscrew. It's a little long winded. Okay, pull the screw. Screw is right there. And you need the standoff right there. See? And it goes right here in this 80 millimeter hole right there and then you take your SSD and you, you slot it in and you see these M.2 SSDs are very small about the size of a stick of gum and this one came with this uh, this heat sink I just gotta put it on there and uh, and we'll install it and see this is what it looks like when the heat sink is on it very thin very small so that's it we're gonna go ahead and slot it in I never done this before so bear with me I know you're supposed to put it in at an angle and then it slots in oh it goes right there at the top okay Push it in. You can see it sticks up kind of at an angle there until you until you put this the screw in it. See that? Okay. You push it down and it goes down. You, you put this this screw back in, the, the one that came off with the standoff. <clears throat> put it right there. And screw it down. Very, very easy and simple. Now, once I get it put together, hopefully it works. <laughs> All right, it's in there. Let's see how it looks. See, it's right in there. And then <clears throat> you want to put the other cover back on over the top like that. And then put your, your PlayStation screw back in. Screw it back down. And then once you have that in there, you put the cover back on and then take it and plug it in and should be good to go hopefully it'll recognize it I guess we'll see in a minute won't we <laughs> and you see these little you can see these little tabs on the bottom they set on to the right here and it just snaps back on and that's it okay let's uh, go plug it in and we'll see what happens okay here we go moment of truth time It's booting up cool Let's see what it says all right see there it's asking me to format my SSD go to format SSD and it's formatting it right now I'll turn that light off see a little better maybe 
in its format 100 percent says that the read speed is 6279 megabytes per second that's pretty good sony's uh minimum is 5500 megabytes a second so it says your ssd has been formatted All right, let's turn the light back on so you can see okay now we're booting up let's see what happens there we go seems like it's doing pretty good i'm going to move some games from my internal storage to the new the new ssd we'll see what it does let's move a few games here we'll go down to storage see there's a console storage i have 23 gigabytes left on my console storage. The new SSD is one terabyte. See it right there, actually 1.03 terabytes. And we're gonna move some games from the internal storage, go to games and apps. And we're gonna move, what can we move? See PS5 games. Oh, there they are, okay. We're gonna move Borderlands, and we're gonna move Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Final Fantasy VII Remake, and Jedi The Fallen Order. That's, all right, let's hit move. See, there's the four games I'm gonna move. Let's see what it does, how long it takes. It's moving right now. Where are we going pretty fast, looks like. Let's see, it's moving right now. It's moving a lot faster than it did when I was moving games to my external hard drive. We're doing this in real time. I don't think I'm going to fast forward the video so you can see exactly how fast it moves. So we're moving four games right now. 355 gigabytes. Let's see. Okay, and it's almost there. Shouldn't be much longer and it'll be transferred. And then we can maybe launch a game and see how well it works off the, the M.2 SSD that I installed. It's going pretty fast, I think. Because you know you can't play PlayStation 5 games off external hard drive, so it's either the internal storage or now the M.2 SSD. Uh, expansion bay just got activated today so should be pretty good I think hopefully I've watched other youtubers do videos about it but theirs was in beta and this is the official full release that just came out today okay that was our four games transferred now let's see look right there there they are there's the four games I transferred Let's launch one, see how it plays. Let's go to home. And see right there, it doesn't it doesn't tell you if it's on the SSD or if it's on the internal drive. But we know that Assassin's Creed Valhalla is on there. We're gonna launch it and see what it does. There are their play game. Seems to be loading okay. Seems to be loading fine off of the the M.2 SSD. This is just like if you was off the internal drive, loads up about the same.
This is the first game I played off of the new hard drive or SSD. I mean, just checking for add-ons. It has to connect to the internet to do that. But here we go. Let's uh, continue. Let's see where we are. We are started. So it seems to be doing okay. Got your little dude running around in the background there. See it move around. Doesn't seem to be lagging or jerking or anything. Just like if it was on the internal drive, I think. Pretty good. So, all right. Okay, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, maybe we'll watch another video at some point. Uh, thank you.